Hi everyone, welcome to this few minutes thing series. And today's we are going to discuss about aerospace and defense industry specific standards and guidelines. There are multiple standards and guidelines available. These standards are made by national standard bodies, international standard bodies, even industry themselves develop standards. IAQG developed a lot of series of standards for aviation, space and defense industry. And all these standards and guidelines are purely voluntary in nature, but few are part of your customer contractual requirement. So we try to make a list. What are the different standards guidelines available? How we can connect this with our operations of aviation, space and defense industry? So we are trying to do this in uh, multiple series. Uh, this is the first series. So in this series, we are going to discuss about quality management system standards. There are multiple management system standards exist, but when it's come to quality management system, ISO 9001 is the most commonly used standard. This is used by different industries. Now, aviation, space and defense industry come up with their sector specific standards. So IAQG come up with 9100 series. So these are the different standards we would like to touch in this particular few minutes thing series. So 9100 is a standard applicable to the organization who are into design, develop, and provide ASD-related products and services. Either you are a system manufacturer or system integrator or a subsystem, or you are into component. Either you are into design or develop, or you are a contract manufacturer, built to pit industry. This standard is applicable to these type of organization. And there is one more standard, 9110. This is mainly used by MRO, maintenance, repair, and overhauling industry, or people who are into continuing airworthiness management services, either it's for civil or commercial or military purposes, right? For those organizations, 9110 is applicable. And there is one more standard. It's not a standalone standard. Uh, this should be implemented along with 9100, AS 9115. So this is mainly people who are into design, develop, produce a deliverable software. It's for them. And there is another standard 9120. This is applicable to the dealers, distributors, resellers of people who are into handling these aviation space, defense industry specific products, materials and assemblies. And recently there is a standard made by Aero Engine Supplier Quality that is for Aero Engine Makers, right? This is AS 13100. These are the different type of management system standard required by the aviation space and defense industry from their supply chain. So how to find this? How to understand whether this is my contractual requirement? Of course, every aviation space and defense customer come up with their own supplier quality requirements. So let's take few examples. So this is one document, UTAS. They have their aerospace supplier quality requirement. In this document, if you look at a particular section, they specifically mentioned about the supplier who is receiving purchase order from this UTAS, they should have 9100. If they are a distributor, they should have this 9120 or even ISO 9001. This is one example. Similar way, if you look at some other uh, aerospace industry, like state, let's take Honeywell. Honeywell have a spark. This Honeywell spark, again, it has a requirement with respect to quality management system. So if you are a manufacturer with design authority, you should have this 9100. If you are a manufacturer without design authority or if you do special process, right? Like heat treatment, chemical processing, right? Then you need to go for this 9100. And MRO industries, of course, you should have 9110, right? If the scope fits for you. And this is what the different quality management system requirement required by your customers. This is part of your contractual requirement. So this is what we'd like to sum up in this particular session. Maybe let's see in the next session on what are the other standards guidelines relevant to aviation, space, and defense industry? So thanks for your attention.